Thanks to Monoprice for sponsoring this video. Check out their 28 inch 4K monitor. The color reproduction is actually really good, even though it's a TN panel. It also features a five millisecond response time at 60 hertz. Also, it's got one of the best stands with uh, swivel, pivot, tilt, pretty much everything. And it's not that expensive, so go ahead and click on the screen or click on the link that's in the top of the description. Finally, time to talk about my personal build because I did build a computer recently uh, before we moved out to Seattle and uh, made a few changes. And now it's time to actually tell you guys what I've built. So let's just let's just do it. Started off with the ASRock uh, X99WS motherboard, and uh, I did this for a couple of different reasons. Number one, options. Tons of options with this board. Number two, the price. It's really difficult to find a board with uh, you know these features that's also a workstation style motherboard at this price. So it had everything I wanted and it was a really good price, so I jumped on that one. For the CPU, I'm using the Intel i7-5960X Extreme Quad Core. I've got that overclocked to 4.4, thanks to the Corsair H110i that I'm using uh, with this. Now, um, there was a bit of drama with the, 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 the cooling solution uh, because I started off with the NHD15 from Noctua, beautiful cooling unit, and I can only get like 4.2, 4.3 usually. If it's not too hot in the room, if the ambient was high, it would, it would die at 4.3 and I I just really wanted like 4.4 or 4.5. I really wanted that extra thing. So I spent like an extra day and I had to move my hard drive cage around because I didn't want to mount. This is really weird. I've got a fractal define R5, right? Nice and silent. And I didn't want to mount the, uh, you know, the, the water cooling on top because then I'd have to remove the mod events and it would be loud. So I figured out a way to mount it on the front and I had to use some tie downs and some, I just do some terrible things with the screws. And then I had to move the hard drive cage back and actually screw the hard drive cage into the honeycomb um, mesh on the bottom of the case. So it's kind of ghetto, but it works. And one thing I've done to help remove any vibrations is we had some little black foam similar to you know this coaster or whatever. And we put a few sheets of the black foam under the hard drive cage to create a t you know some tension. It's working, <laughs> but but yeah, and I got 4.4 gigahertz. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever done for 100 megahertz. All right, um, for the graphics card, very important, EVGA uh, 980 Ti, and it's the Superclocked Plus with the ACX 2.0 Plus cooling unit. I can finally play Skyrim at like 60 FPS. That's 1080p. Playing it at 4K, it's getting like 26, 27 FPS, so... Yeah, I'm extremely imp impressed with the uh, the 980 Ti, and this one is a lot faster than the factory, so I, I quite enjoy that one. It costs some money, but I quite enjoy it. The memory, uh, we got Corsair Vengeance LPX, 64 gigabytes of this. So I went crazy with the DDR4, lots of memory. 64 gigabytes of memory is going to allow me to edit lots and lots of 4K video with lots and lots of layers and lots and lots and lots and lots of things. It basically gives me a huge desk. I like the old RAM desk analogy. I wish it was used more often, but yeah, the more RAM you have, the bigger the desk you have. So my desk is about like a football field right now. How about that? Yeah. Samsung uh, XP941. Uh, we got one of those. That's a uh, 256 gigabyte M.2 um, SSD, and that is plugged right into the uh, M.2 slot. You know, of course, it's uh, PCI Express. So this, this one is really fast, around 1,000 megabytes per second. And uh, that's just for mainly the OS and some programs, just a few different programs. And that's that's the main drive. Now for the um, the drive that I'm gonna be doing most of my work on and also putting a lot of my games on, especially the ones like Skyrim that I want to load quickly, I'm using a Corsair Neutron XT 960 gigabyte SSD. And it's a Fizen based SSD, it's just so fast. It's, it's red too. So it actually stands out in the system because it's red SSD in there, but guys, Friggin' love these Fizen based drives. So I've got the Corsair in there, and I'm also using another Fizen based drive. I'm doing this a lot. Hey, must be a politician to start doing this stuff, you know. I'm also using another Fizen based drive because it supports jobs, the economy, Trans Pacific Partnership. I'm gonna cry now. Um, so we got the Patriot Ignite 480 gigabyte SSD, and we're using that one for Linux. So uh, yeah, and because uh, I, you know, I wanted the speed for Linux as well. And I also wanted a lot of space for Linux. I'm going to be doing a ton of gaming in Linux. And I already have been doing a ton of gaming in Linux. We'll talk about what version I installed in just a second. So, guys, that drive, totally endorse it. Corsair drive, totally endorse it. Both of those drives are freaking epic. The Fractal Define R5, we already talked about that. You guys have seen our video. 
Uh, I like the sleek elegance and the fact that it's extremely silent. And it's also, I mean, you can go out there and you can get a case lapse for six, 700 bucks. It won't be as quiet as this. And they make some that have the, the sound dampening, but I'm a, kind of a simple person and I'm sort of a minimalist when it comes to a lot of things. I don't see, for my purposes, any reason to spend any more than this. And it does everything I want. So I'm very happy with the Fractal Define R5. Uh, for the power supply, we got the Corsair HX1000i uh, power supply. Just good, clean power. Also, it does not, uh, the fans don't even kick on until it ramps up to a certain, um, I, I think it's around 50, 60% usage, but um, it's really important to have good, clean power. Uh, I threw a storage drive in there, even though I'm going to be using the NAS mostly for storage, but I did throw a three terabyte um, SS, not three terabyte SSD. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. I threw a three terabyte HGST hard drive in there. It's basically like the, the little brother to this guy right here. I probably should have gone for the four terabyte and just added some of those to my cart when I was buying 10 of them for the NAS, but you know. Um, for the monitors and all that sort of thing, I just made a desk uh, overview video, so you guys can go check that out for like my mouse and my keyboard and my monitors and all that sort of thing. It's all in that video. Um, so that's pretty much it. I don't think there's much else in there. It's uh, there's no secrets in there, no capture card, nothing really fancy in there. And my DAC is also in the desk, uh, you know, peripheral overview video thing. Now, the operating systems. Um, I never I never recommend an operating system because when I'm making a recommended spec video because some of you guys are going to use Linux, some of you guys are going to use Windows, some of you guys are going to build a Hackintosh, whatever. Um, but for me, I installed two OSs. Uh, I've been trying to use Ubuntu uh, a lot, but a lot of the programs that I need are still on Windows. So I'm still stuck in the Windows 8.1 ecosystem. And also some of the games I want to play are, are Windows. So I've got Windows 8.1 and I have turned it into my own version of Windows 8.1. It runs okay, except for the damn security uh, you know, updates and that sort of thing have been kind of shitty, Microsoft, ever since you fired all of, your, uh, all of your testing people. What's up with that? It's really weird. So I've been very careful about what I install, and I've had to call Wendell a few times and be like, dude, my hair is, I'm gonna pull all my hair out. What's wrong? And it's usually a Windows hot fix. It's not hot and didn't fix anything. Um, and for my version of Linux right now, I've got Ubuntu 14.04. I'm going to be upgrading to 15 very soon. Just haven't had the time. And I'm running uh, GNOME 3.14, I believe, on there with a bunch of fancy things. I'll make a separate video on, uh, you know, my operating systems and also just what I install when I first get my system up and running and just some of the things that I do to make Windows 8.1 easier to use and more to my liking. So that's it. I want to know what you guys think about uh, my PC. I personally think it's what I need for my needs. It's what I need for my needs. That's my new slogan. All right, guys, pop in the comments and all the specs and all the you know all the different links to everything over on the website. We've got Amazon links. We get a couple pennies if you guys click on those. So thank you very much. Also, be sure to grab some T-shirts from the store if you guys like the content. Helps us a lot and helps us uh, you know keep making making content, man. That's what it's all about. See you guys uh, later. Mm -hmm.